This presentation analyzes the responses of participants at the Transportation Assets and Barriers Workshop held in Wacon on February 10th and a random sample survey sent to Wacon residents. The information in the following slides aims to inform the Wacon Visioning Committee and design team during the design process. We conducted community focus groups and sent a random sample survey to 500 Wacon households. The quantitative data collected from the survey responses complement the qualitative information gathered at the focus groups. Different transportation users have different needs and priorities. Older adults want access to local services. Active recreationists want to be challenged while engaging in physical activity. Parents are concerned for the safety of their children. Mobility challenged individuals want smooth surfaces and safe traffic crossings. Youth want complete sidewalks and safe traffic crossings. We conducted focus groups with people from each of these different demographics to obtain a complete picture on the transportation system in Wacon. All user types travel around Wacon by walking and driving. Mobility challenged youth and parents bike around town. Youth and mobility challenged use public transit services to get to where they need to go. Youth also enjoy riding their scooters around Wacon. Focus group participants were asked what they consider to be community assets. Connection to nature is important to residents, as well as pedestrian connectivity. The scenic views, plentiful amenities, and walking trails at Wacon City Park and the Five Bridges Trail are widely valued. Active adults, mobility challenged, and parents also appreciate the walking loop along 1st Avenue Southeast, 4th Street Southeast, 7th Avenue Southeast, and Rossville Road for the scenic views and its length. Residents enjoy going to the local cemetery in Wacon because of the quiet atmosphere mature trees, and limited traffic. During the focus groups, participants also identified undesirable features in town. All groups are frustrated by the broken, narrow, or missing sidewalks throughout town. Many people talked about challenges posed by winter weather, such as icy roads and snow piles at intersections. Insufficient parking, especially around City Park, the softball complex, and the fairgrounds, was another common concern. People of all ages take issue with the rutted, potholed, and narrow streets, such as the golf course loop, side streets around downtown, and 2nd Street Southwest near the group. Finally, focus group participants had the opportunity to tell us what changes they want in Wacon. All groups agreed that repairing existing and adding new sidewalks would be beneficial, as well as adding wider sidewalks to accommodate varying transportation needs. Actives, older adults, youth, and parents would like to develop a multi-use trail system that connects local destinations as well as regional trails connecting Wacon with Decorah, Wacon Junction, and the Mississippi. Actives, older adults, and youth desire more vegetation and tree canopy, especially downtown and in parking lots, for shade and better aesthetics. In addition to the focus groups, we distributed a random sample survey to 500 households. Understanding what types of improvements are important to residents gives the committee insight on how to prioritize projects. The information summarized here includes respondents' willingness to help, their enhancement priorities, preferred commuting, biking, and walking routes, and qualities they desire on their biking and trail routes. More than 46% of respondents indicated they were willing to help with the visioning process, whether it be volunteering time, money, or both. How do we get people to help? According to an ISU study of Iowa small towns in 2014, a common reason residents said they didn't become involved in community projects was that no one asked them. Others indicated they didn't know how to become involved. These results show that the best way to get people involved in community projects is to simply ask them, along with advertising opportunities through traditional and social media outlets. On a scale of 1 to 5, with 5 being the most important, participants in Wacon ranked providing more accessibility for seniors as the most valuable transportation enhancement. Other improvements that address pedestrian mobility, safety, and health, such as safer routes to school, better lighting for night use, and more physical activity opportunities are also considered important. Regarding the quality of the built environment, Survey respondents consider enhanced seasonal beauty as the most beneficial, followed by better neighborhood streetscapes and habitats for birds and pollinators. Most survey respondents drive to important destinations such as the grocery store, post office, school, and church. More than 28% carpool or ride with someone else. 
more than 17% of participants said they walk, and 7.9% bike to their destinations. This map shows the commuting routes identified by 40 survey respondents. The frequency that the routes are used is depicted by their width, with the routes used most often being the thickest. The primary commuting corridor into and out of Wacon are highways 9 and 76, mainly from the south. Many also travel on Rossville Road, Main Street, Alamakee Street, and 9th Street. On a scale of 1 to 5, with 5 being the most important, survey participants ranked the characteristics and features that factor into their choice of commuting route. Among Wakong participants, time to destination was the most significant factor. Avoiding weather-related issues, such as snow and ice, is the second most important factor when determining commuting routes. This map shows the walking routes identified by 41 survey respondents. The frequency that the routes are used is depicted by their width, with routes used most often being the thickest. The most heavily traveled walking routes among survey respondents are trails around Oakland Cemetery, Walk-On City Park, and the Five Bridges Trail. Other popular routes include portions of 2nd Street Southwest and the streets that constitute the Golf Course Loop, Rossville Road, 2nd Avenue Southwest, 1st Avenue Southwest, 4th Street Southwest, and 7th Avenue Southeast. Other common walking routes include Alamakee Street Northwest, 3rd Street Northeast, 8th Avenue Northwest, and 3rd Avenue Northwest. On a scale of 1 to 5, with 5 being the most important, survey respondents ranked their characteristics and features that improved their biking experience. These features are categorized as either connections or conditions and elements. Walk-on participants consider connections more important than conditions and elements. Access to trails is the most consequential connection to survey respondents. In terms of conditions and elements, low vehicular traffic was the most significant, followed by well-kept surroundings and traffic controls. On a scale of 1 to 5, with 5 being the most important, survey participants ranked the characteristics and features that improved their trail experience. These features are categorized as either connections or conditions and elements. Conditions and elements carry more weight for walk-on trail users than connections. Access to natural areas is the most important connection among trail users. In terms of conditions and elements, well-kept surroundings are most important, followed by trees and shade and lighting. If you have any questions about this presentation or the community visioning process, contact the members of your local visioning committee or check us out on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. A complete set of assessment presentation boards can be found on the walk-on webpage at www.communityvisioning.org walkon.